Uh, hi, my name is Zoe Black. Uh, I'm a trans rights activist and I'm a content creator and filmmaker. I think for me in, in attempting to, I guess, teach queerness and uh, things around what it means to be queer, things around vocabulary and things like that, for me around particularly youth, uh, those three words for me would be representation, representation, representation. I think if I had been in spaces where queer identity was normalized and just broadly accepted accepted and not necessarily just a thing that we tolerate or a thing that we give special mention to when we need to, I think if I had that, that would have made my process so much easier, so much smoother and to some degree I think I would have potentially come out a lot earlier. It was difficult because I was trying to find content or resources uh, to explain what it was that I was feeling and why I felt that way. And in the South African context at that time, there was nothing at my disposal, absolutely nothing. And that made it so difficult for me. In terms of like books and stuff like that, that was a little bit more tricky for me. So that's why I'm like, I'm so excited about this thing. Like, this is amazing. I think if I had this, um, when I was struggling with the things, when I was trying to figure things out, I think something like a glossary or like a kind of quick Wikipedia that I could have just gone and found and had a quick read, it would have made so much more sense to me and it would have made my process so much, so much easier. I think that one of the big problems is that there are so few resources or there were very few resources on that. And so while you're in the session with somebody, you know, it's, it's great. Uh, you can talk about all the things then people open up and it's amazing and you're having this wonderful conversation in what happens my question is always what happens post the fact you know where do people go if they want more information where do people go if they have more questions about something um how do you point them in the direction where they can go oh there's actually something cool that i can watch that's something that i can go and listen to that's something that i can go read about and that have those resources be something that's normalized and i don't think we have that just yet. I think we are building those resources and, and normalizing them in that kind of way, uh, but we're getting there still. And there are many, many languages, particularly African languages, that don't have the concept of pronouns. And so then how do you expect people to address you by your correct pronouns if that very concept doesn't exist in the language that they speak? And so I think there's a lot of conversation that needs to be had in terms of how we place our identity and what we, what we expect from other people. And so if English is not your home language, that person needs to go through the extra effort of uh, putting it through a language filter to attempt to understand that. And so I think developing resources in multiple languages, particularly in South Africa's languages, are so crucial. We talk about things like trying to reach rural populations with certain types of resources or materials. I think those kind of conversations are, are so important to have, uh, particularly for queer advocacy. Uh, if we're talking about like really being inclusive with feminism and that kind of thing, those are the kind of conversations that we need to have, particularly in the African context. I think it's nice to have something that simplifies things for where it isn't scary, where it isn't you know, like this big thing where that's so foreign. And I think this book really, really does that. Uh, the illustrations are also like amazing. So they, they complement the, the way that things are being described really, really well. And so when you have that visual aid with the contextual language and the, and the colors and with the way the whole book is working, for me, I think it's really gonna be a, a fantastic resource both for educators, for queer learners, and I think for like general like advocacy for queerness. I think, I think it's amazing. Yeah.